Welcome back to another episode of. <laughs> can only I can already tell this is going to be very. <laughs> it's going to be a fun episode. Okay, uh, today we have some very special guests with us. Uh, welcome back, firstly, uh, to another episode of the Good Vibrations Only podcast. Yeah, you're on episode four right now. So boom. That's right. Okay, uh, I'm FJ. This is Isaac. That's right. Isaac here. Boom. And for our lovely guests, can we do a short introduction of ourselves? Your names, where are you from? Let's go. Welcome, okay. welcome. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you for having us first. Uh, I'll let Spencer do the introduction. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Spencer. Yeah, Spencer! Beep, beep, beep. And this is Taufik. Taufik. Hello, my name is Taufik, <laughs> as referred by Spencer. And we are... Using the cover. <laughs> okay. Thank good. you for having us again. No problem. It is absolutely our pleasure. Okay, so for those who are unfamiliar, can you maybe tell them who, what, who or what is used in balaclava? Okay. Firstly, uh, we're a group of um, artists, or uh, rather like friends as well. Most importantly, friends. Okay. Okay. And um, we primarily do clothes um, for our craft, but I think a lot of. Uh, because we do that, then I think a lot of times that uh, people don't know that we do something else like leather crafting. Uh-huh. We do um, maybe simple metal works, uh, a bit of fine art stuff, sculpture stuff like that. So I think we're quite broad in the things that we do. Not only clothes, but yeah, don't have to label us or you know we're just using balaclava, doing what we love and what we truly believe in. Nice. Basically. Okay, I think also h- how many people are there in uh, use in Balaclava? Like the whole collective, like the crew? Right now we have ten. Mm-hmm. Right now. Okay, do you yeah. wanna do you wanna Okay do shout out to Delvin Tio, shout out to Kashmir Hakim, shout out to Zach, aka Yang Yongkuma, shout out to Long Chen, aka Nancy Now, shout out to Hanif, aka Articular Cartridge, shout out to Yana, aka Kebabum. Instagram name. It's a oh, Instagram nice. name, nickname. Uh, Kai, Kai Dex. Um, is? is Bus, aka Bus. He will only want to be addressed as Bus. Please address him as Bus. Yes. <laughs> he um, told us many times before as well. Who am, am who am I missing out? Oh, Elsa, aka Yoke Tree. Very talented photographer and set designer. Shout out to Elsa. Shout out to Elsa one time, man. There we go. Those are the members There's of so the youth in Balakava. And also, yeah. I think one one thing that I think all of us want, want to know is um, how did all of y'all come together? Like, like 10 of y'all, I mean, it's a wow, substantial amount of people. Uh, so, Spencer, you're going to answer that? Uh, I think um, way back when we first started, we were just from secondary school friends. So, uh, me and Taufik, we met first, like, I think in sec one. Where, 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 what school do you guys oh, go to? Gunning Singh. That's right. Shout out Gunning Singh. Onward, onward! 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 Magician! <laughs> Jesse has forgotten Singh! <laughs> as, as many hands be your house, so many Sarah hands. Let's go! Oh, wait. I'm so sorry. Yes, please, please. Um, so Taufik kind of brought us all together. So like, I talked to Taufik first, and then the yeah. next one is who? Are so uh, Spencer and me, we go uh, way back. Sec one. Uh, shout out to Sec one C, the best class. Bing, 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 ever. Bing. Normal cat represent. Um, yeah. So I met Spencer first, and then um, when we kind of move on to Sec three, that's when we met Ichen. Michael and Zach was my senior. Uh, Kash, of course, my brother. So he always like hangs out with my friends as well. Wait, so would you say like the first few members they were mostly all from Gunning Singh as well? Yes. Yeah, except for one Queensway boy. Boom. <laughs> boom. <laughs> boom. 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 All in the same area. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Quincy. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. So wait, then how about the other members that are not from Gunning Singh? As in, I mean, how did they? Right. So like Kai, Delvin. Um, actually, Delvin, we met him at a gig. Uh, it was the Gardens gig. It was uh, pretty much like a an artist that we never thought that actually would come to Singapore. 
And then we kind of like bumped each other over there and we kind of talked for a while. And then um, I met Kai uh, through... Uh... Oh shit, I'm not going to say that name. Can you beep, beep that? <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll bleep it. From a school. <laughs> so I met Kai at the school. Um, we kind of like... Uh, actually, we kind of... I was his friend and we kind of relied each other a lot uh, on the first day. Uh, and throughout my whole uh, time in that school as well so obviously he will come and hang out with us and eventually you know he got the same uh, mindset and then you know we kind of like got him in so um, Elsa as well she was a friend of mine also in, in that particular school so Kai, Elsa I met them at that school and yeah Pretty much that's how we kind of like meet. So it's like different phases in life. So in dif- that in that different phases of life, different members come in and you know integrate with us, and then we kind of like um, the kind of like kind of protocol. Not protocol. I guess it's like the the essential part of this is just that if they can click with each other, mm, the cohesiveness of the cohesive. Like yeah. Like, so mm. it's not about like oh what you can do and what you can't do and stuff. Like you know if we kind of click the together. vibes. Uh. Yeah, the vibe the vibes. like. If like Ichen can like talk to Zack mm. or you know, they both don't even like talk to one another, right? Mm. Back when they were like uh, when we were in school, now they can plot things and say like, oh, don't tell Taufik, uh, we do this blah 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 blah. <laughs> so you see the amazing of that kind of like uh, friendship. No, so, I mean I I encourage that. You know, I like yeah. to see that. So I think um, importantly that was like the whole uh, core value of the group. It was like, you know, we were there for one another, like, almost like family, you know. So, yeah, that's how we kind of got together. Then, now now that you, you, you guys talk a bit about, like, your history and, like, the members that you all have, will you um, what would you all say are your roles um, within, like, the collective, like, as in out of 10 members? I'm sure there has to be certain things that people take on, you know, to ensure that the collective will function as smooth as possible, so... Oh uh, yeah, so I think this yeah, you brought up a very important question because like a lot of the times that people uh, look at us like a, a clothing brand or rather like a collective, right? Mm. Um, it's like uh, everyone thinks that all of us or rather like, you know, most of us keep doing the design or, uh, you know, produce artwork and stuff like that. But I think uh, importantly here is that like um, in a group, there has to be a different or uh, rather like different positions for everyone. Right. Right, and that will be the primary your primary role to keep this whole thing going for, for the, sure. the the parts of the engine, right? Hundred percent, yeah. So um, when we were like growing up, or rather when we were having this whole thing, um, we had to learn and figure out what or where was our strength in. So essentially, like uh, let me bring like each and as an example. So um, growing up, uh, I would say like my brother and Michael was a bit calculative with the. With the business side, and they could do numbers quite, uh, That's nice. quite good, so quite well. So kind of like okay, like, you know, let's try to put them together into the finance department. Right. And then like um, at first, Zach was doing the IT because he was really good at mm-hmm. computers and stuff like that. And then <laughs> we I told him like, okay, why don't you just settle the website? Like anything IT related, he'll be the uh, the guy to go. And then Ichen, uh, Spence, and myself, we will handle like the operation and logistic yes. and that was like the primary role of the the group as as a as a group first and then comes the creative part yeah where like everyone can contribute creative like you know whatever they want to contribute it's allowed to be uh, put in the group yeah. without any judgment like a lot of times like um, there's a lot of uh, differences in terms of uh, creative ideas or yeah. the ideas we want but I think my belief is that like you know to never like look down or never judge a person's idea sure. and allow them to express however they want to express right. so whatever the, des- the design that they want to put out and stuff like that we just like give it a go so how would you say like within like uh, a team of 10 mm-hmm. right and then let's say I'm, I'm sure you know everyone's like free you know are able to contribute like um, on creative ideas as well and how do y'all ensure that you know everyone's voices get heard and who or what you know um, decides you know what well, goes into like the final thing. like what 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 is like the process like? Okay, so run us run us through that a little bit. Are you an explain? 
design. Oh no, oh, like no, whatever no, just it like is. The, uh, just con- the contribution of like creative, like how does one? Uh, because it's a team of ten, yeah. and then it, I know sometimes it's also very difficult to satisfy every single one of them. But how does yeah. one make it ensure okay. that everything is? You know, Sorry, let me. So briefly, basically, uh, if you're talking about <laughs> the start of like the brand, we usually just hang out at Taufik place, and then we will like bounce off ideas, nice. and then we talk about our inspirations and what we want to showcase in the collection and the the meaning and the story behind the whole collection. So that that's during the initial phase of the brand, and then moving on like to the later part, we. We ha- we set like a creative team. So the creative team is Taufik, uh, and Delvin. Mm. They are the head of creative. Uh, and Kai. Yeah, and Kai. And Yana. And then they they <laughs> they will basically uh think ahead of like what they want to convey convey the story for the, the next collection. Mm. And then we we if we have any ideas like they'll tell about the whole story and the idea they have and we have any ideas we can like just bounce off and then it's very open like we are able to even if we are not in the creative team or anything we can just like give ideas mm, and then they will that's nice yeah so we kind of bounce off ideas mostly so there's no really like strict rules or like everyone can contribute to the creative aspect of the brand yeah. nice yeah. <laughs> so because like uh, when we started right like um, fundamentally, um, it was quite very raw in that sense, you know. Like, there's so many skills that were like untapped, and we don't really know how to do. So um, that's why, like, you know, it's always open, you know, like mm. um, how to do things, and we never always t- thought of like uh, who is better than one. You know, of course, like, of okay, you can do better graphics or you know that kind of stuff. So I think that ego and that kind of like uh, openness kind of like uh, allowed this whole group to kind of like flourish in the way it is. Although, like. Uh, uh, most of the time when I come up with concepts and stuff like that I always feel it's important to have the team around and like br- bring the perspective to what's it okay. and then like let's see how this whole thing goes into because like I like the whole idea of like beautiful chaos so whatever ideas that pours in like it could be just from how I thought about it from start and then like at the end it's like totally kind of like different because of the colours that you know the members you know splatter their perspective on right so i think that whole thing at the end of the day is a bigger picture of the art that you in balaclava is trying to portray so you know like bigger brands they have like um one person that kind of like does the whatever whichever direction they want to go so although like i play as a creative director but i like or i love it when we have a lot more people like kind of like mm. say things open and without like you know, without any like restriction of right. what they have to say or like what can they say and stuff like that. Okay, yeah. nice. I think people out there will also want to know. I mean, even if they are not, I I would say, um, particularly in let's say the clothing industry, the fashion yeah. industry, or I mean, just working in teams lah. You yeah. know, of how how to work together as well. So I think the next one is a two part question. So right. bring it, the, bring it. The name uh, use in balaclava, right? <laughs> I'm. Can you tell us what the origins <laughs> of the the name? And then second question is. I, I recall reading somewhere y'all actually had the other brand names prior to oh. using Balaclava. Y'all oh. wanna talk about that as well? Oh, no. So, How you know? <laughs> Nardwar! Nardwar! <laughs> shout out to Nardwar! <laughs> and then here's a gift from... Run <laughs> <laughs> next level by Heaven Heaven. Okay. So, um, so yeah, the first question. Okay, so like, um, I was really interested in the whole uh, anonymous concept. And at that point of time, like, figuring, figuring out a name, like, it was actually like, uh, the click name first So what would we call ourselves Okay And then I just Because the whole like uh, Idea with uh, Anonymous Brought me into like uh, Margiela About how he's um, Always behind the scene And not seen By the people in the industry Stuff mm. like that And you know like I like the whole idea of like You know people Looking at the works Rather than the person Behind the work Sure You know I was like thinking uh, what is a good you know uh, word to describe this whole masquerade thing? Okay, but I'm just gonna be completely frank <laughs> no, because go for it. it was quite. I wouldn't say messed up, but I think a lot of people might have different opinion about this. But I always think about like how a bank heist is like it's a really cool idea, you know. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> uh, I, I always like this whole idea of a bank heist, and you know when the 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 robbers put the on the balaclava, it's like everyone's the same. What is important is we get that money out, right? 
and get the hell out of the <laughs> from the bank, right? Right. So essentially, everyone plays uh, different roles, but at the same time, we're all together. Yeah. So that was like the whole idea behind the brand name. Ah. So that's how Use in Balaklava came about. People so from I remember different was like, backgrounds and everything coming together exactly. for a collective like um aim la. Yeah, exactly. So collective goal, sorry. Without like having each one to be the person to kind of like. You know, you get what I mean. Like, yeah. uh, there's no reason to be uh, showing ourselves. In mm. that sense, although the irony here, we're showing ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> But then, there was this one time where I felt very like uncertain that it would be a good name to start with. So I remember I was under my bed. I was like thinking. I was like 16 at this point of time. I was like thinking whether should we go on with this name and stuff. Then I talked to my brother, uh, Kashfi, and I asked him like, uh, "What do you think of you know? Should we like go on with this name?" And it was like he just simply told me this like, if you're not proud of the name, then who else would be? Hmm. So that kind of hit me, you know, like, yeah, you know, I came up with the name, and I think I really should take pride in with that, you know, what I create or like kind of come up with and that whole stuff. So then we decided to stick on with the name, and until now, it's still very, very like difficult for me to comprehend whenever we see like you see Balaklava in essence or like. I mean, like at you know, shoutouts, man. Seeing <laughs> that that word itself, like it's, it was like a 16 year old idea, like now coming out to life. Mm. It's just so weird, you know. Until now, I cannot even like uh, comprehend this okay. whole thing. Actually, it reminds me a lot about he. He told me this before, and like you know, we have the shop loop gums, right? And then he, I mean, I think there was one day he we we closed the store. It's just the both of us. Then we left the store. He's like, wow, I can't believe people are saying the word loop gums, like. Yeah, it's yeah the, 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 like like it's a made up word. Yeah, you know, and over time, like you know, even with loop gums, like now our customers call it loops. It's like it just turns into whatever people feel that best yeah. you know, describes us yeah, or yeah. something like that. You know, and just like, oh shit, you know, I've never thought about calling ourselves loops or you know, people are using loop gums, loop gums off the tongue. You know, it's <laughs> it's quite strange lah. The, so. the, the word feels like a bit funny, like to yeah individually exactly you know, exactly yeah. Yourself. So it's a bit also like I could I can understand how you feel about that as well. Yeah, man. And then also the second part question is um, you all had other names prior to like other brands. <laughs> what 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 were they about? Like, uh, share, uh, share. The first was Alcatraz. <laughs> so it's like okay, I was like mad fascinated with this uh, whole occult uh, thing. And I really studied about it, and I, I like uh, I like a lot of things that I think it kind of like speaks to me. And I thought I would want to name the the group Occult Seasons, mm. so we kind of like try it out, <laughs> but it kind of flop. Um, I don't know what went wrong, but it was just like an O S with the like a forest background, and that was kind of like the first graphic we did for the logo. It was quite funny because like I don't really know why why it never carried on. But it just felt we felt like a need to like come up with something new, right? Because <laughs> I it felt didn't that sit it would very be, well. Like yeah, I th- I think it would be too uh, me. <laughs> you get what I mean? Like mm. it wouldn't speak about like my friends here right. and the people that is around me and stuff like that. So I think use, the reason using balaclava kind of fits in is because most of us were quite reserved. <laughs> the irony, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, I, that's that's why you know and and really um. Just to let you guys know that really most of the members here are like quite introvert, especially Spencer. He's I think he's really struggling. Shout shout out to Spencer, man! Boom, yo, hello. Doing great. I'm also a bit like um, very nervous now to be honest with you guys. No, don't be, don't be. That's why you can hear me breathing, right? Like, (laughs) you can hear me, of course. (laughs) But I think uh, a lot of times that um, sometimes I think people kind of look at that in a very negative way. The fact that because we are kind of like not shy, I would say we like if there's no purpose, we won't. No, not purpose. Can find a better term to describe. Like y'all don't feel the need to explain or like talk if uh, there's yeah, if, no if, 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 if there's nothing. There's no need yeah, there's for no need. conversation. Then so it's like a lot of times, like you know, when um, corporates or like you know brands, they kind of invite us for like kind of. Mm. Uh, Gathering they have or like sure. uh, like launch events pop up, and then they invite us and we choose not to be there is because we feel like maybe we wouldn't fit in there, like you know I don't want to be just there like okay. oh you know I'm like holding a champagne glass champagne glass and like ah you know we're here like for know. the sake of like yeah I, I mean we tried okay. we tried it's not that we didn't mm. it's like we did 
But at the end of the day, it just doesn't feel right, you know. It doesn't sit us. It sit with us, right? And therefore, like I think there can there can be like a miscommunication from us, or rather, like to the audience. How like people yeah. view you guys? Perceive like? us, yeah. Okay. Perceive, yeah. And we're not exclusive. We never intend to be exclusive. It's just that we really like to stay at home or at office doing our own stuff. Right. Then yeah. I mean, then that brings us to like very nicely to like one of the questions we want to ask also like you know is is that what is something people you know seem to always misunderstand about you guys uh well like like for like the people I can like kind of like mm. hear it really like in my head oh. <laughs> like oh you know they all say that uh, YB is just like uh, CDG pumping money in with them it's like oh my god <laughs> like seriously <laughs> That kind of like ticks me mm. off because it's like we really work our ass off. I mean, I'm sorry, bleep that. Don't worry, it's okay. It's <laughs> we really work our ass off. Like literally, uh, we work as waiters, we work as uh, bellboy, or even runners and stuff. You know, sorry, not Whoa. those kind of runners. <laughs> we'll bleep that out. <laughs> we'll bleep no, that. Okay, okay, so bleep that. <laughs> 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 Not runners. Uh, I mean, we were like waiters, and you know, you get the gist. Like, we were working part-time job basically to save up so that we can do this as like our passion project yeah. at first, and that took a lot, you know, like for us to sacrifice because like people were all going out to party and stuff like that. We was putting our like you know expenses and finances to carry out this hobby and you know do what we love, and like I think what most people did know is that we actually rejected DSM first. So, uh, when not I, I won't say rejected. Sorry, sorry, that's the not the right word. We kind of like uh, push it away for a while because when we first met Ad- Adrian, um, he asked whether if we uh, would like to work together with him, and then I was like, you know, like oh, give us a moment, you know, we need to think because at that point in time we felt like we weren't ready uh, financially. Also, we were taking a break from all of this, and. Uh, we were afraid that we couldn't even provide the things that they need. Even down to that, like when we agreed with working with DSM and Adrian himself, it's like we make it clear that this is our own brand. Like there's no like uh, interference. Interference. Or yeah. Like we can. We are open for discussion. Mm. If you're uh, if you're not agreeable with things that uh, we are doing and stuff like that, but this is 100% our own brand and we control it. Right. And At most, I would say it's just that the opportunity that was given to us to be stuck in DSM is like the biggest help. Okay. Because anything other than that, Adrian has always given like you know he told me to be very honest with what I said. I can say whatever I want. Yeah. You know I can do whatever I want. There's no restrictions or whatsoever. And like as far as he's concerned, like money wasn't the the, the issue sure. here. Mm. So a lot of times, even when we went to Paris, it was our like the other members. We kind of like have to pay with our own savings and uh, yeah, savings are basically. And um, for the first collection, second, it was all our own money. Hmm. You know, we were like living like with zero. I would say like when we first started, there wasn't salary and stuff like that. Hmm. So it was really, really like our passion, and right. this is what we really want to do. And for people to keep saying like, oh, you know, like, you guys are just like, you know, there's like big investors pumping mm. in money to you. I think that's very unfair, lah. Like, right. We really work our ass off. We really sacrifice our life. No, okay, not life. Like our youth. <laughs> Sorry, like our youth here. Like, we didn't spend on the things that we wanted. We never get to afford any of the things that we want because we would put it onto this project. Right. And even until so, like even until now, like the things that we earn is not as much as what people think. You know, like we're still like kind of like uh, living just nice, hmm. like day to day, just to see this whole thing, like you know, go, go up the ranks. And I, I always believe in organic, organic growth. Right. You know, it's just like we shouldn't force on things. Like if people like it, like it. If they don't, they don't. You know, I don't, I don't. We, we're not here to please anyone. Right. So. Yeah, I, I I feel that there's a number one misconception about us. Okay, that's fair. I think I Quite think nervous. it's <laughs> what, what? kind of like our breath. Yeah. Never <laughs> mind. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. I think uh, I think it's an interesting I point. I think once means help. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> I think um, yeah, there's an interesting point you know you brought up with uh, the DSM part, you know, and before we uh, go deeper into that and how you all uh, managed to link up with like, DSM, I think uh, I would like to know what what was like uh, used in Balaclava's like first ever like project. What was the first thing you all actually produced? The the first one is actually traitors to society. Like, uh, <laughs> traitors to society. Traitors to, to society. Yeah. W- when when uh, was this? When was this? Uh, is it 2015? 2015, 16? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, around around there. And the idea came up from Taufik. So it's basically f- uh, inspired by the Hawk Lee bus riot. Yeah. And we like, I mean, we like how uh, the meaning behind the riot came about. Do you want to talk more about the... Okay, uh, basically, like in a sum, like it was also one of uh, Singapore darkest history, right? So, um, kind of like look at it in a different perspective. Uh, we look at when the youth gathered to cheer on the bus workers, okay. and then they sang songs and they provide food and you know gave moral support for them to kind of like overcome this whole uh, ordeal right. with the riot, right? And I think that is a very very important point or like important thing to look into because. Uh, Never to underestimate the power of the youth, right? You know, so I like that whole thing. So then we kind of like make it into like the first T-shirt drop that uh, came out during 2015. And Spencer will continue more about the story. Yes, please. Yes, please. Come, Spencer. Tell oh. us more. In, uh, I mean that that that's about it for the story, uh, basically. But we only we we didn't even produce much t-shirts yeah. for that project but that was just to fund for our future projects right but how, how do y'all like go about like doing like i guess which y'all quite like the first collection also yeah, I would, mm. I would say yeah. Like yeah. The, the first drop the first time ever that we actually release something that we really want i think there's a there's um a huge story behind this but we'll save it for another time because we plan it to um actually really tell the whole story when we're ready but Chen. it was the journey that actually uh, kind of determine whether we were like in it together or not really okay because uh, it put us into such an uncomfortable position as in amongst the yeah collective like at first because it was the six of us right sure so that was the first trip ever like ourselves <laughs> and then figuring out how to do this the first what trip like no it was not not a drug like acid oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh it was like more of like an overseas trip okay so that was like okay i'm just gonna leave it up to that can yeah stay tuned stay tuned okay so that was the first drop and then we kind of like um we decided to go like simple because uh we only save about like two thousand dollars from waitering and some of like spencer's uh savings for his university stuff uh, <laughs> I didn't go by the way. <laughs> 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 okay, and um, yeah, that was that's that's how much we put into the capital, and we started with that, and then we see how we wanted to uh, move forward from that lah. Basically, that was the first whole like first you know, ever first ever. yeah like the the first like the big bang you know like, yeah <laughs> to this whole clothes thing lah. Basically, be- okay. uh, basically, uh, then. We move. Uh, do you want to know about the? Yes, stuff? go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, please. Okay, so okay, basically, um, after the first collection, or rather the drop. Sorry, this is drop. Uh, a lot of friends supported. Uh, we felt more confident. Shout out to your friends, man. Yeah, shout Boom. out to the friends that actually uh purchased the first ever shirts. Boom. Shout out to my family, who actually also uh, helped us out through this whole thing. Um. Okay, so basically, we we felt more confident, and there was actually profit, right? So with that, we kind of like decide, okay, what we were truly interested in to do, like more cut and sew, uh, clothing and stuff like that. So that was the uh, the second drop was Twisted Paradise. Um, okay, so again, small story. Every drop they have like each concept behind it. Mm-hmm. So Twisted Paradise was like uh, when I was walking to work with my brother. I was like thinking it uh, in my head. I was like, oh, we actually reached this part of our life, you know, where it's like. Okay, we finally can go out. You know, we have more freedom now, but it's like paired up with responsibility, and there's so many things that, um, as a child, I didn't know that this was like the transition. You know, to actually becoming a, a teenager or like a young adult. Mm-hmm. So, um, it was like dim as paradise to me when I was younger. Like, oh, I can go out. You know, like my mom was really strict about me going out and stuff like that. So, to me, it seems like a paradise. 
And then it's kind of like twisted because there's so many things that I didn't know that is uh, paired up with this whole freedom. Right. You know. So that's how the whole twisted paradise came into the picture. And then we decided to do collection based on the feeling of that. So when we I explained to the team about the the concept, you know, then each one of them brought in their ideas and um, artworks that they feel about this whole thing, you know. Mm. So I think the most interesting thing that we kind of did was like um, we tried doing a souvenir jacket. That was the first time, and then <laughs> the challenge was coming up with a graphic that can be as close to the souvenir jacket, those kind of like uh, dragon oriental uh, paintings or like you know old uh, phoenix drawings. Right. So that was the first challenge. The second challenge was creating a flannel, and then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Like we literally, because the uh, it wasn't blanks, you know. It was literally, but we bought the fabrics. So mm. We had to figure out the whole cutting and the whole size. So all of that um, also was because due to the fact that uh, we work uh, part time in uh, retail outlets. So um, back then we worked at Mark Jacobs. So we got the chance to kind of like touch fabrics and right. see how they kind of like, and then the whole retail operation, how they did, uh, did. Uh, They do it, and every time we finish or we're done with work, mm. we we'll walk around MBS. We we'll go Magella opposite, you know. We we'll go to Versace. We will go to um, Dolce and Gabbana. All and they were all like all around yeah. the, the vicinity, right? So that's how we figured out how to do like the proper cutting, how we want it to be, and stuff like that. But then we felt like okay, that is a bit too plain, you know, just on cutting. So how do we elevate or how do we put into Uh, your own of, flavor yeah, yeah our own flavor basically mm. so um, we decide to like kind of distress and then hand <laughs> so the graphic that we kind of uh, screen on a on a canvas uh, fabric and then we kind of like sew it onto the back of the planner okay. and then we like uh, put on wall paint literally wall paint on the flannel and then stencil over like uh, was, what was the words losing my senses mm. so that was like To us, that was like we were very happy with that like, kind of like that collection. And brother also like was good lah. Yeah, it was good because it was really like a lot of like try and error, try mm. trial and error. So to us, that was also very meaningful lah because we didn't go to fashion school, but this is how we kind of like study and right. look at garments the way we see or oh, the way we saw it back right. then. And then what else ah the the collection? Oh, and that. <laughs> That's when um, we really got closer with Delvin. Uh, Delvin modeled for us for that collection, and when we asked him to do, you know, it was just like a favor and stuff like that. But we kind of got into a deeper conversation afterwards, and I asked him if he would like to hang out with us. And But at this time, has Delvin joined officially? No, joined yet? not yet. Okay. So Delvin was just like, oh, you know, I think. I mean, he had like a pretty much like a funny history. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the flashback moment. Uh, um, yeah, so basically that, and then um, he we talked to him, and he got into like kind of like a deeper conversation, mm. and uh, we asked him if he want to join the team. He was like, um, "I'll think about it." You know, <laughs> I still remember because we were like, he we were parting ways, and he, he was going to the train station, right? And I was just like, "You want to join the team?" He's like, "Let me think about it." Well, he took <laughs> took him about like two years to get back to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, but he came through. Like, he came he through. Came through and yeah. Now he's like Yo. the most dedicated. Team. Yo, shout out, Delvin. Yo. Uh, and then um, we came out with stigma. So stigma was like basically also a collection based on. You want me to hold the mic? It feels like yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're not angry, right? Okay, I, I love you. Oh. Okay. I love you too. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. So stigma is basically a collection based on. It is what it is, like basically the word uh, stigma. So it was also very difficult for us to kind of like uh, figure out how we're going to express that word into clothes. So one of the first few things is, uh, of course, we got deeper to um, subcultures. Okay. And one of the reference points was uh, Bozuzoku, uh, which is the you know the notorious Japanese uh, biker gang, right? So that was like a stigma to in Japan. So we we kind of like put different points of like what we felt was stigma, and as or rather a stigma, and put it inside you know translate them to clothes. Right. I mean back then, 
Although we did the Twisted Paradise collection, although we had like some understanding, it was like the most basic. Like you know, like we don't even know what really we're doing with the clothes. I already know what we're doing with the clothes and stuff. So I felt that was like the most purest and the most sincere and the most raw form of like creative uh, expression at the time for us. Right. Because it's like okay, like what will it make it cooler? Or、um, since they're on the road,、uh, we should put in reflective like、uh, reflective strips. So finding for a reflective fabric at that point in time was like insanely difficult, and then we tried to find for a fabric like waterproof fabric、so、to make this whole raincoat. And at the end of the day, we only can afford to make like a few pieces. Yeah. The denim jacket. There's only one. Yeah, there's、oh. only like one or two. Then even the, oh, so we made a denim jacket, and that denim jacket is originally blue, and then we kind of like like no one knew how to like change the color of the jacket, so we kind of read manuals, you know, like how to. <laughs> Get rid of colors,、mm. because YouTube wasn't really that available. You know, there wasn't much information on things like this. Right. So,、uh, we literally took the、um, took the denim jacket and then like bleach it overnight, turn it to white, dye it red, and then after that, create the distress effect here and there.、Um, put in some reflective strips at the back of the gap, and then spray paint like at the back of the、uh, jacket. Okay. And to us, it's like, whoa. This is actually cool, yeah. Like, man, be- you just imagine like this group of boys who literally haven't never watched a runway show, never had any experience of fashion. Like doing、mm-hmm. that the first time, it felt like really good to us because like、sure. we managed to do something that you know kind of like speaks to us, and it's because we do it ourselves. So it's I don't know, it's just very very crazy at that point in time, and we like it a lot. So,、uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess that. That came out together with all the other T-shirts and stuff、mm. like that. That was stigma, and then we took a break. <laughs> that was like, how long? How long? If you think about it, that was like the history in a lump in in a in a in a gist、uh, before the Dover Street Market period. Right.、Out. So that that was the that was the young period. So the pre pre、uh, DSM era, if you will, right? Like. How long apart would y'all say like the I guess your drops or collection like came out? How long? Like, from one project to the next, would would y'all say? I think average around eight months. Eight months. But we don't have like a, a date. A fix like a、yeah. schedule. When we are ready, we just、mm. put it out. Oh yeah, because when we work with DSM also, they were like they didn't put us any like a limitation on what we can do and what not. Okay. So it's as and when we are comfortable with. But how long did we take the break? I was in the army,、oh, so、yeah. it was probably like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Zach and、uh, Spencer served、uh, national service first. Ah, so I. I also,、oh, amongst the collect, like you know, within the collective, like y'all two went to NS first, lah. Yeah, that's、okay. right. And then I think the rest were all like focusing on school, like I mean they have to lah. Have I mean, to, no choice. That's poly life. You spend the <laughs> rest of your life doing this. I'm not giving them a chance to experience the whole poly life, and、fair. they're gonna lose out on all of this, right? So I think it's fair that we took a break. And that break was like an indefinite hiatus. Like we didn't know when、mm. we're gonna actually come back. But then with let's say、um, Zach and Spencer out like in NS, right? Then how do y'all、um, still find the time to come together like as a collective? To I guess I mean although you guys are on break, but would y'all say it's not like everything was cut off lah from like? Oh yeah,、ID. of course、it's、we we 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 hang out a lot, yeah, like、mm. literally a lot. Oh, on a. <laughs> Side note: We、yes. do a、uh, content as well. We used to make Snapchat movies. <laughs> <laughs> If you can、Damn. find it online somewhere, guys,、uh, try to find our、Boom. Titanic movie. I <laughs> wish you luck. <laughs> Close up on Spencer's. <laughs> it was it was the best, the golden, the golden era for like YB、uh, film and movie production. It was a Snapchat movie. Literally, and any chance that you guys are gonna bring those back? Uh, <laughs> it's somewhere out there, right? It's it's you know. Uh, I think I private. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Titanic. Love, man. Love we gotta see some, man. You can't just like you know, tease us like this, man. Okay, maybe one. Maybe we can show you later. Ah, steady. Yeah, ons, maybe. Ons, ons. Maybe. We'll see how. <laughs> I'm not involved, right? Inside,、like, I don't. I don't. I don't. Not me. No, yeah. We kind of like did a lot of this. I like we used that spare time to kind of do something else, lah. Basically.、Sick. Uh, also, um, we were we. We、we'll、always meet, or rather, like we will、we'll、hang out with our other friends,、mm. 
uh, in, at gigs. So uh, at that point of time, like we met a lot of uh, different people as well. You know, like we were hanging out with different uh, cliques as well and mm. stuff like that. And that's because common our common interest is music as well. Mm. So that's where we kind of like uh, relax and you know watch uh, bands like uh, at that point of time. Who was it? Straightforward. Shout out to Straightforward. Shout out to Fader. Shout out to Fuse, Fuse Hardcore, mm-hmm. uh, Losing End, Doldry, who else? Holo Thread. Am I missing? Am I missing out anyone? Who do you like? ISO, <laughs> ISO. I mean, they were like crazy. Like, um, um, these bands, they were like, they were giving us a lot of like uh, a, a place for us to express this energy. You know, this uh, whole tense, uh, this whole frustration. And we feel really, really like comfortable there, and yeah, that's why we always hang out. So it's either at home or we go out. Rarely d- on that point of time we would go out shopping. It was like very different for us. Okay, couldn't that, afford anything lah. Basically, that's why. Then, like the pre-DSM era, what would y'all say that uh YIB's uh main mode of I guess uh communication with I guess your Uh, fans or people who are interested in what you guys are doing, like Maybe what what are some what channels? What what are some channels that you guys are <laughs> have been y- using to reach out to? I guess your people who are interested in you, lah. Oh wait, I'm I'm sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There's what? a lot of things, right? Yeah. That I actually have to like kind of filter out first because there's a lot of um things that we put up that I scared that I might have to I I say. It. Okay, like things for example. L- okay, let's just let me release one very important information. Okay, <laughs> not important, but just like you know, things that I was like in my head the whole time. Yeah. Um, if you actually click on one of the links right in the website, right? <laughs> 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 it will lead you. <laughs> <laughs> it will lead you to a very funny website. Okay. So at that guys, point, go find it, no, man. At that point, time, we were like, <laughs> so the, r- answering to that question, so we had Instagram, Twitter. Tumblr and stuff like that. Okay. But we like where, figure out like where would y'all say like at the point of time, I mean aside like with all these channels right like where was where would y'all say people actually found like YIB from? Let's say aside from your friends. Oh, that's a very difficult question. Exactly, word of mouth. Word of mouth. Guess. Okay. That's why that I I feel like uh, I have this. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Shut your bola. Ah. But really, like I really like stick out. I really like hey, the, thanks, man. your place a lot because that's I, I feel like you guys actually not, not sponsored by the way <laughs> not sponsored by the way yeah uh, yeah I feel like you guys have this space to allow like you know uh, the youth to kind of like discover themselves and you know find a place where they can actually look for things uh, within the budget and stuff like that I guess when we were back in our time not back my time uh, during my time <laughs> you're still swimming <laughs> <laughs> okay no 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 <laughs> during my time it's just like um, oh, I keep saying that during my time Back in these days, it's very <laughs> difficult to find that kind of shop, right? Essentially, it's like almost impossible. I oh wait, no, there's Ali for us. You remember oh, the Ali? Right, right. I right. kind of like I like I like that I like that shop. Yeah, wait, what's up? No, Ali as in the the one the queens the the hat the hat shop, no uh. No, a- they were at Haji Lin back then. A A L L E Y. Yeah, yeah, A L L E Y. Oh, eh. Quite cool. Your they don't have. Eh? <laughs> Back in your state, okay. also, eh? there was this uh, local brand called Culture. Remember that? Okay. Like, so that that kind of draws. Was that during the, the like the sub clothing era? Because like sub was also like there oh. for like very long ago. Sub like. is Jackie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. SUP. Yeah, I think it's after. J- okay, no, sorry, not like, after sub clothing. Ah, okay, okay. That's uh, that's as far as I can remember because like we didn't have any place. Because we always have to go overseas. Fair, fair. We kind of have like this secret place, lah. But it's now it's not more, no more. It's uh, it's not secret anymore. So <laughs> basically, stick out is like I feel like the best representation of Thanks, a man. shop that we will go overseas to. So, Thanks, um, places like in Thailand, in Malaysia, uh, Southeast Asia region, they will have this kind of uh, places that I we will always feel like, why well, this kind of place like don't even exist in Singapore? Mm. It will be like good, you know, like. I feel like it always starts from the youth, you know how they kind of like progress to become, or the, you know, a form to find them, yeah, the character sure. and stuff like that. Then which so shout out to stack oh. out. Oh, <laughs> Sca- shout <laughs> out, scare me, scare you. But which? Scare who, uh? <laughs> <laughs> But so which which uh I guess channel would you say you are most active on? Facebook. Fa- Facebook live. 
เฟซบุ๊กไหมเฟซบุ๊กไลฟ์แกไลฟ์ไลฟ์แกไม่แบบ for real no ไลฟ์ for no because Facebook is that that link that we lead them to other people because we were like thinking like who the hell use Facebook sir these days true then we just put that link like okay what should we do because like we have to put Facebook there right so that we just direct them to a different link right so when they click it just yeah, but I we know that no one ever no, gonna click right. Facebook so that's the case okay then good luck finding for that thing <laughs> it's out here. Then, then also, yeah, yeah. I don't think I don't think we actually really communicate with uh, our audiences in that sense. I think DSM gave us that space to do so. Okay. So, uh, back then, uh, we did try to. Oh yeah, there was this story that I was gonna uh, talk about. Uh, we actually uh, approach different different retailers, uh, to kind of Lo- local, uh, local, local retailers, uh, to bring in our stuff, and we will like send them a deck. So we didn't know what to do. So they were always say like send deck. What the hell is a deck? <laughs> so you give like, cards. Are Draw your last pathetic card so I can end this, Yugi. My grandpa's deck has no pathetic cards, Kaiba, but it does contain the unstoppable Exodia. Ah, impossible. Cards are deck. Yeah, yourself. I thought you know like my my uh, pyro fighter man has <laughs> kind of speed fighting deck, uh, <laughs> speed attacker deck. Sorry, <laughs> duo masters. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I was like, okay, then um, we learn it online, and then we like, okay, we prepared a deck this mm. time. So we kind of like send it out to it. Like nobody want to pick us up. Okay. Okay. But I mean, okay lah. I mean, I don't blame them. You know, like <laughs> it's a big business uh, decision fair, also fair. as well. Fair, fair to them also. So um, whenever when someone asks like, oh, where, oh, who actually carry you guys first? Then when we say DSM, it's a bit weird. Because it kind of give us like a very very like empty history in that sense. Because okay. in other countries they will support the brand first, mm. and then that brand that brand would graduate to become like something bigger and then internationally st- uh, stock, right? Right. So I think there's this missing link to whenever when we say DSM is it's like it's a it's a it's it, to me it's, I I feel very proud like mm. I feel happy that you know we managed to get DSM. I feel sad at the same time that DSM is the first store. Okay. Because I wish there was like a space or where there's a place for me yeah, to locally kind of like actually pick your up first yes. as well. Yeah. Okay. So that was like a that was during the time when nobody really was doing this uh, different it, like street fashion. But last time it was just like logo, you know, front logo, mm. big back logo. Yeah. And. <laughs> Man, <laughs> thank God we passed through that era, yeah. <laughs> uh, new these jeans. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh, new these jeans. Good, good times. Then how did <laughs> how did DSM like uh come about? Like how did y'all, I I guess, chance upon like each other? All right. So uh, sorry, Spence. I speak. <laughs> so basically. <laughs> Uh, I met this guy, this photographer Ryan, through a friend of mine. Basically, he wanted uh, not Ryan, like this guy, this friend of mine. He wanted me to bring Ryan around to show like Singapore. Okay. And I was supposed to be like his assistant, lah. Basically, like help him carry his camera bag and stuff. So any job. But prior to this, do you all know this guy or as in the? Ryan no, yeah. Like okay. oh, this Angmo fella wearing sleeper with the uh. shirt, the beach hat and stuff like that, right? With the bucket hat. Alama, this like tourists, ah, uh. uh. <laughs> sama, yeah, like tourists, like, like tourist. really, like oh, first time come to Singapore, mm. where like wow, very hot, right? So wear t-shirt, then right. wear short pants, that kind of stuff. So we kind of like, uh, I'm just, I, I thought it was a job. So basically, like, okay lah, anything that can earn me like some money will be okay. So I took the job, and then um, it wasn't a paid job, by the way. <laughs> So, but it was fun because when I personally uh, met him and I like talk more uh, to, uh, with him, I kind of like uh, I vibe with him. So shout out Ryan first. Shout out Ryan. Yeah, <laughs> he uh, he want. So I showed him basically uh, Little India first, and then we went to Chinatown, and then um, the second day, I told him, "Can I? Will it be cool if I bring my friends along?" You know, then he was like, "Yeah, sure, sure, sure." So um, basically, we wanted to hang out. But I got this thing, so I was like, okay, how can I like do two right. things at once? You know, most of the times it was like that. <laughs> so, um, I brought uh, my friends along, and we just started hanging out, like introduced to Ryan, and then he was like taking photos of us uh, at that point of time. 
but that was just like a side like right. a side uh, so it wasn't photos. his like main like assignment there yeah like, yeah right. it wasn't okay. he was supposed to just take a photo of Singapore okay. so I think it's a documentation a uh, job for him to like document the building of like Dover Street Market in Singapore okay. and the culture around Singapore and stuff like that right. not really too sure but that was that was what he was doing lah okay. basically so then uh, after a few days you know keep stepping we taught him how to uh, steal an orange juice from the supermarket so So Spencer literally like uh, took the. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we did. We're not gonna say we'll, where. We'll but bleep, we'll bleep this out. Also. <laughs> you put it in his pants, and then like Ryan managed to take a photo of him doing that. And then after that, we enjoyed the thing evidence. The, huh? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, side story over. Uh, where were we? Ryan, um, you came by. Yeah. So Ryan out. basically. Uh, Uh, took photos of us and he gathered this whole uh, uh, photos and then he was like you know what fuck it you know like maybe I take picture of you guys instead to represent like his trip mm. in Singapore okay so on the day like I think on the second last day or was it third day I think um, Adrian came down to Singapore we went there so for those who do not know who, who oh. is Adrian <laughs> I don't know how to say in the straight face Adrian Joff I, 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 until now I really don't re- know how to pronounce his last name no, no but I can't hear him Adrian Jo AJ AJ the, he's the um, CEO of Comme des Gassons basically okay. uh, sorry if I if all for you like those people sensitive with the French pronunciation no worries <laughs> this is how we pronounce don't, it in Singapore uh, yeah CDG okay. lah CDG, CDG can okay so basically he uh, saw he was like Ryan, what you got so far? You know, like, uh, what what have you? Uh, like checking up on what how is yeah, he doing? Yeah, basically, like? right. And then like, just nice. The photo developer or wherever he printed his photo sent him the email okay. of the photos that he took. And when the photo, uh, when he opened up the file, our pictures came. And then like he was all like pictures pop up, and it was like, who the fuck are these kids? You mm. know, like I want to meet them. Exactly, that was what he told me when. The photo came out and what Adrian said. So um, he said that he wanted to meet us. Nice. Uh, at that time, we weren't invited to the Dover Street Market opening because he only had limited. But I think Adrian managed to like just say like, okay, just bring them all over there. Nice. So you know, we don't even know what Dover Street. Because Ryan was like, you guys should try it out, no? Like Dover Street Market, you know, in the next six months, create a plan for yourself, and you know, try to uh, put your get work stock. There, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's like ah. See first, ah. <laughs> we were like at Mustafa. I remember he was like, I was showing around Mustafa. He's like, like I was looking at some of the fabrics, and he was like, uh, he was saying all of that. And I was like, ah, see first, ah, later. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so, it was that. I don't even know what DSM is. Right. To be honest, like we we didn't know. So, when um, wait, when, what, did this happen during the like the hiatus? Period of time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we were just showing uh Ryan mm. all our past work, what we did That's so nice, far. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, and and then um, it happened when it, Adrian said like, "Okay, we uh, oh no, we were walking around the SM like you know like oh okay expensive expensive," <laughs> and then uh, Ryan was like, "Hey guys, come up now now now." He was just like, "Wait, what? Chill, sir. Like we just got in, sir. Like you know, I want I was aiming for the champagne. Okay, now I don't drink. Okay, but <laughs> the champagne, <laughs> basically. So um." We got out the whole of us, the whole lot, and then we met Adrian uh, at the. Uh, there was this. I'm not sure what restaurant. It's like DSM here, and then opposite there's this. Como is it? Como how? Como at MCU. Then I remember like he came out and all. Then we like, oh la ma, who these fellas? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> then he say yes. Hi, uh, Taufik. Yeah, then we introduce ourselves. Yeah. Adrian. It's like, oh, I heard about you guys. You know. Do you guys want to work together? Then I was like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah, we're yeah, like, nah, bro. Like, we're not ready. I, I was yeah. telling politely, we're not ready to be honest with you. So um, maybe you could give us some time to think about it. And then he was like, quite taken aback. First, he said, Oh yeah, sure, sure. Uh, <laughs> take all the time you need. You know, uh, here's my email. Drop me an email once you're ready, and you know we can work things out. Maybe. Right. So when he gave me his email. The conversation and he was just like, "Oh, have fun." So we we did lah, cause we wanted to have fun. Back to the party lah. Yeah, mm. and then Ryan pulled me and he was like, 
are you fucking crazy? And I was like, what? It's like people who cut their limbs, you know, like to get a chance to be stuck in Dover Street Market. And what do you tell him? <laughs> I'll think about it. <laughs> I remember exactly when he like really scolded me for this, you know. So I was just like, what is he talking about? I was still young. I didn't understand what he's trying to say, right? So I was just like, uh, okay lah. I mean like, <laughs> chill lah. <laughs> chill lah, you know, like, we still got time. Uh. You know, the yeah. champagne is inside, you yeah. know, like, you know, Bro. we can talk about it afterwards, yeah. you know. I'm open to that. First things first. Yeah, first <laughs> things first. <laughs> exactly. So then, um, we, I mean, of course, he was still nagging about it lah. Like, he keep asking, you sure you want to think about it? You sure you want to? It's chill, Ryan. Like, you yeah. know, we, I think we really need to analyze what, where we are first and who's interested in, you know, we can't just like start again and like, if the rest of the member of the team like are not in with the vision or with the right. direction, then what's the point? Okay, fair, fair. So we needed to check on ourselves first. Like, okay, you guys want to do this? You know, they were still in school and some of them are, uh, you know, on their last year of school and stuff. So it's definitely an important decision that, okay, but by the way, um, on the day that uh, I met Adrian, <laughs> okay. I got a call from this school, uh, this particular school. Uh. Right? He asked me, do you still want to stay in school? <laughs> <laughs> then I was just like, oh why? Because you still oh this month, blah, 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 blah. Uh, would you like to like, you know. Um, resume? Uh? Yeah, would you like to yeah, resume school? Yeah. Uh? That was just like, what's my other option? Um, drop out. I was like, uh, okay. So I chose to drop out. On the day that oh. we were, uh, was it on the day of the DSM? So I was like, don't worry this is another chapter you know like another chapter close I was like what this guy talking about my <laughs> school is here in jeopardy then he telling me like the chapter ends and now it's another new chapter but that was like my foolish foolish self back then lah like I didn't see the bigger picture right so until then that happened and then it kind of like woke me up to different kind of things that's nice so we took uh, some time then we kind of like talk about it you know decide what we want to do even if we do what we're going to present to them right so I remember the first day, the first time we replied, he came all the way again from, um, where was he? He's always doing this round trip, uh, basically. So he was flying into Singapore and that was a meeting that we needed to attend to when we said yes. <laughs> did, they, did they have any like, uh, for, for you guys, did they have any like deliverables that you all need, needed to submit to him? Or? Yes. So that was the part when the deck came. Oh. <laughs> then we were like, ah, ah but you all know already. You know already, you know already, already bro. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the time. <laughs> Thank God, sir. We know what that was. Oh, but okay. Also, after that meeting, the whole theme, uh, we brought Adrian out for the first time. I think it was on that that meeting, and then they thought we we're gonna bring them to a restaurant, but we bring him to MRT. You know, <laughs> then he said, "See the MRT." Oh, they were so impressed. You know, like all the NS Navy photo. Uh. You know what they were saying? Oh, lots of propaganda around here. <laughs> <laughs> They start snapping the photo of like Navy posters and mm. stuff like that. Then we thought uh, Adrian had to get a free ride lah. Basically, how to like fit in with other people to get the train station <laughs> eh, to get to the train free. Nine one one, what's your emergency? And quite like funny lah that we did that with our partner in that in that sense. So they didn't know where we where they were being gonna be, uh, go to so as well. So we brought them to Fong Seng Nasi Lava. <laughs> Shoutouts to Fong Seng Nasi Lama Guys All you cyclists I know you all been there before <laughs> Every Friday, Saturday <laughs> Yeah, that was the place And that was the first time We ever like uh, Actually had Like sat down And have dinner together And then like Kind of talk And just like It's outside the whole Business thing And just like You know More informal in that sense Right By the side of the road So it was a very good experience They enjoyed themselves lah Yeah huh? So That's after nice. that We just keep bringing them To like you know Nikki's cheese prata shop okay. Or like you know uh, Mama shop to eat me goreng and stuff like that it's nice yeah man okay so now that we have been like <laughs> talking about a lot of like the I guess like the history and like the technical stuff yeah. so now we want to know a bit you know more about you guys as uh Individual. individuals yeah okay you go with Spencer first like one two three like what what are y'all into like aside from say um the things that y'all Hentai. do oh wow the favourite title <laughs> As in, so yeah, besides, aside from the things that uh, you guys do at Youth in Balakava, as on an individual level, what do you all enjoy? I, I don't want to do this, uh, but Spencer is a man of freaking weird <laughs> interest. In, oh my god. Like, he looks like this. Oh. <laughs> okay, go, Spencer, talk about it. Uh, 
I mean, for hobbies, my hobbies kind of change every few months. Uh. Yeah, no like, reason. Uh, recently, I just bought like electric guitar. So Liars, uh, you like <laughs> to watch this one man, one... <laughs> okay. Um, so, I tried Very to do... Energy, uh. I, I was like, interested in aquascaping. Okay. So... I kind of learned, I watched a lot of videos about aquascaping and I, I had a thing for fishes, basically. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> fishes in people's body! When, when, when was this? When, where are we talking about like this? Maybe like one year plus ago, okay. two years. Yeah. So you started like what? Collecting fishes and... Yeah, I started with like... I mean, I, I, di- I didn't know much about fish, so I just got a fish bowl, but I, I found out that it's not, not, like, because not, the not right for it. Intense yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> increase. And then, like, after a few fish died, <laughs> then I kind of, like, do more research, and then I, I, I spent, like, maybe 300 plus to build, like, a waterfall. Oh. It's, what, what, what do I call it? Uh? It's like. Uh, 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 no, no, no. I don't know, but it's like half land, half water. So there's ah. like a waterfall going down, and then there's like fishes underneath. This was this was how long into starting this hobby that you dropped like three hundred plus dollars on this oh, structure? Maybe two two months. <laughs> if, if I'm really into something, I would like you go all in. Yeah, I go all in and spend all a lot in. of money, and then yes. like yes. I'll think about it later on. Uh. <laughs> like like how then, how, then how do you work out this this uh, uh waterfall and? I mean, it, it worked out for like maybe a year until like. I kind of like got too lazy to like you know because there's a lot of maintenance like involved <laughs> with this kind of thing so, so maybe after that what was that? I was like kind of into playing arcades okay for, for some reason what, what particular like oh. station do you go to like oh. the game DDR yeah, guys. <laughs> oh. drum, like mania, okay. drum mania drum mania no, no, not those like basic kind of games are uh, like oh oh, oh. oh. <laughs> no, 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 not oh. like the mainstream kind of you know arcade games I, I, I can't really describe what kind of game, <laughs> but... <laughs> of course you can, bro! <laughs> <laughs> no, <but it> co- <laughs> Come on, Spencer! <laughs> so you go to the arcade? What's the first game you go to? No, no, I, I play everything. Oh, okay. But like, oh, oh, oh. What's your favourite, like, the go-to? Oh. Like, the Spencer game? Oh my god, Spencer's playing this game now. No, like, I'm, okay. it's nothing interesting. It's just, like, the ball dropping to hold one. You have to time it, right? That kind of thing. <laughs> what very <laughs> specific uh. like that you get the most kick out of that yeah. one uh. okay okay interesting um, what, what are some ah uh, yes okay. I, after that I got kind of too busy to like have this kind of hobby because <laughs> I work got too intense at that period of time okay. so like, I took a long break and then now I just got into electric guitar so okay how, how's that coming along for, for you? I mean, I just bought it two months ago, but I think I only play like once a week or twice a week. So, yeah, it's a uh, you know, uh, good start, good start, slowly. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to expose him, but I know he's my friend. I'm no snitch. Okay? <laughs> you said a lot of this No, that is only the team of the oh, iceberg. Team of the iceberg, okay, okay. Gosh, and he's talking about different kind of fish, guys. <laughs> <laughs> then, oh. what about you, Taufik? Why, why are you. <laughs> What are you into <laughs> aside from? <laughs> it's just messed up. <laughs> the things that oh my god, like seriously, like I Spencer is a nice guy, you know, but the things that he showed us are uh, sometimes we question him, like why is it, why we're friends with him, sir? Oh my god, what does he do on his free time, sir? The kind of things that he, oh. just ah. Oh. I want to be a snitch right now, but nah, it's okay. It's fine. Then, then what about you, Taufik? What were you into as, uh, right. outside of the YB? Right Personal now... Personal interest. Right, okay, like... I kind of like also developed the interest of aquascaping as well. So, recently... Well, what is aquascaping? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to ask that just now, but... It's... Okay, sorry. I I, I really scared because I pissed off... All, I will piss off the, the experts here. But actually, no, there's no, a few I mean, hobby terms, anyone can like. Right? Yeah. Like there's vivarium, terrarium, palladium... Uh, there is aquarium, so each one has oh, different like aquascaping. Yeah, aquascaping. Oh, I was thinking aquascating. No, oh, aquascaping. aquascaping. Okay, okay. P. My bad, yeah. my bad. Boom. Yeah, you know what it is, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you see just now you described yeah. like, uh, building, like So basically, each aquarium, right. like that's aquarium, right? So like the aquarium, <laughs> you build like uh, enclosure, but only with plants, and you create like a like self sufficient ecosystem. So you put some like insects there and then it de- develop their own like you know. So you really three can close the jar and just let it live. Right. And it would really live. Okay. So like aquascaping is also like 
uh, we try to integrate or try to mimic a form of like a landscape, nature landscape, and try to put it in a small glass. Okay. Yeah, I think that's interesting. Is I it very therapeutic to like watch yeah. it like grow and what? Uh, what's like the main kick you'll get out of this? Like, what's uh, the draw? At first, it's just frustrating. Uh. I think it's the process of building it and then like having it come to fruition and then like seeing, yeah, fruitation, fruitation. Like coming, like trying to mimic nature as much okay. as you can, right? Yeah, and then just watching it thrive by itself. Yeah, I think yeah, like Spencer said, the, the whole idea of like mimicking and seeing this whole thing come to life slowly. It doesn't like it's not overnight. Mm. So it literally takes days and days and days for this whole thing to build into something you know bigger than what we actually initially built. Right, it's not like last time how you know the sea monkeys you no, open no, for the pack no, they no, pour no, in the water no, then no. everything just no, but. <laughs> Because of that, like I really feel like it's important that we actually kind of explore these different hobbies. Like, uh, recently I've been trying to learn, uh, not trying to learn, like reading a lot on silver smithing. Okay. So one of the other hobbies that I was into is also 3D, and um, what's this? Uh, what's this called? Uh? okay, it's something like um, like sculpture, but it's not sculpture. Okay, I forgot what's the term. It <laughs> basically okay. just. Sculpture uh, Let's just put it that way yeah. So I think The most recent project That I did was To build a waterfall huh? So When we When we do aquascaping It's a waterfall this high So I literally like Tried to build Two meter waterfall Like a huge uh, uh, My wallet A huge <laughs> w- Waterfall And see oh, oh my god That was like The most frustrating thing Like Because I think Like basics it Must be there And Essentially like my br- I just went straight For the <laughs> But I'll, right. I'll post it up on Instagram soon And you guys can see it It's the actually quite beautiful now yeah. yeah Then recently Any new interest hobby? Interest hobby uh? Or even the rest of the members Yeah Like Zach, Ichen, like Oh, what? Ichen just got his bike license oh. Shout out to Ichen Oi, Shout out Ichen Boom Not first time pass, sorry guys Like two <laughs> times <laughs> Two times okay It's okay, pass can already, pass can already. Okay, wait I got this pet peeve uh. Like why do people have to like fake Like Oh, I didn't pass my My driving My Whatever like le- 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 lessons they have, right? People are like, oh, I'm so disappointed. But like, quite bochui yeah, because like this whole day he was gone. Like five p.m. Then he come back to the office, right? Hmm. Then he's like, oh, I shave, sir. You know. But then of course lah, we just like play along lah, so that he can feel happy when he go home, right? Like, <laughs> take the guys. So he's like, oh, but actually he passed. Good job, good job, Ethan. Hey, shout out, Ethan, man. Boom. <laughs> Um, shout out to the two uh, guys, Kai and Kash, also because he just they all just ORD this year. Oh, so. shout outs, ORD lo. Nice, nice. <laughs> but then we recently also saw um you guys' uh Instagram stories. You've oh, been playing yeah. ball. You've been playing ball. I guess it's like I think it's not like a new found hobby, but it was something that we oh I have always been I've doing. always been doing. Yeah. But is oh, that do you all do this like? Quite regular. Oh my god! Also, like back then, it was even worse because every time we play the game, yeah. we get tired, we smoke, and then after we do something else. That time we did like uh, before we go NS, right? And Spencer was the only one in NS, so we were playing, sorry, softball. So there's this baseball bat that we had. So after we like kind of got tired of the game, right? We kind of reenact national service, <laughs> and he was a sergeant, and he was like holding the baseball <laughs> bat, and then we had to do like push up. Sorry, sergeant. Sorry, sergeant. You know that kind of thing. So. <laughs> Literally like Every time we do something We end up doing something else It's right. always the case for us uh, We like have like Some documentation of that lah. Hopefully someday we'll release But not now So recently we managed Okay like You know um, We need to really Look after our, like You know Health also mm. So um, YB has always been like A four days work uh, Work How do you say Work, work week? The work week Yeah work week And it's Monday to Thursday So we try to like Push the uh, Friday Saturdays To like Play together and do something that's beyond work, lah. Right. Basically, so one of the first few ideas was basketball. So <laughs> after that, everyone got lazy to think <laughs> about other things, right? Just the basketball cap, basketball cap. Yeah. yeah, but before that, before basketball, basketball was like okay, like let's do something else, right? So basketball, but before basketball was catching. So we literally played catching. So but nice. we had to wait 5 p.m. where the people like leave the office yeah. and stuff. And then we start Like block catching types Yeah types. literally <laughs> Like okay level level 3 out of bounds huh? Level 1 out of bounds huh? Cannot use phone Cannot go toilet Cannot this Okay 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 Wow fun sir. Do the ladies participate in the games as well? Yeah Shout uh, out, shout out. out. <laughs> <laughs> There's one time right Okay not, it's, it's, it's not by force 
but it happened that they uh, both females were like the catcher. <laughs> <laughs> then we were like, <laughs> show me the game. Like, he's like, no lah, we believe in equality, right? Oh, hundred yeah, percent. So like, of course lah, we have to play fair lah. So everyone ran. I don't know how my brother can I catch <laughs> and he can I catch the first. Like, <laughs> nice guy, ah. Huh? <laughs> I don't know lah. What do you think? I try not to run lah. I try to hide instead. <laughs> Lazy ass yeah. Uh. Work, work lazy. smart Not work hard uh. yeah. Steady I mean These guys right They can't even run Like we can't run anymore The moment we play basketball right You should see Delvin Oh my god He's so sensitive Like he's like Whoa he's playing all You know like Whoa you know But the moment someone hit him Ah <laughs> <laughs> And then he's like He's always having these Like problems you know That's why Zach will say Okay uh, Delvin hey, hey your boyfriend uh, see, He's going all out now Later He's something wrong Again every time <laughs> No, like we always have to say that, but always at the end of the day, like it turns out true, lah. He was like, "Come on, like, my stomach pain, or my stomach pain, like, okay, your your pain will switch." <laughs> <laughs> so it's quite fun, lah. Like we we try to create all these activities to play together and um try to uh, learn new things from one another. So mm-hmm. like skills, like I'm Malay, I don't grow up with basketball, and um I learned a lot from Spencer and. <laughs> not not really, <laughs> but Spencer. Oh, but fun fact: Spencer and uh, Ethan used to be basketball teammates at Oh River Valley Primary School. Oh, and they're known for basketball, right? RV is it? Are they? Is I forgot. It? I I don't I don't think so. No. Oh, hey, oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe now. Oops. Maybe now. Maybe, maybe now. now. Oh, maybe we now. wish them to be like yeah, hundred you know, percent, yeah. man. I mean, yeah, but they were pr- basketball players. But I didn't know Ethan was. Yeah. Oh, Ichan was in Boys Brigade also. <laughs> Did you know a guy from Boys Brigade can actually made up to like you know uh, YB? Shows that anyone can do anything, you know. BB represent man, yo. BB, hello. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Zach was from Drama Club. Can you imagine? Boom. Yeah, his drama. I want to join drama. I almost cried so I joined drama. Like it's not that I don't. It's like I wanted to join something else, but that was good. Yeah, he was from drama. Delvin was uh, what ah? Uh? Oh, he was military band, and that's how we we also have like our own music project. So the reason also, oh, we kind of can click because Delvin can play drums, so I play the bass, and then Mike, um, used to be our finance guy, he um play the plays the the guitar. So we have like a side project, like a music project also as well. Any, any chance the any music is gonna be released? Ah uh, no, to be honest, because like, uh oh yeah, just maybe you um some side information like how we work right. It's always like. Uh, we will prepare for a fashion week so during that gap time we have uh, after uh, preparation is the time where we feel like we want to do like uh, for example like aquascaping stuff like that right mm. and try to translate it into art that is the period to do so okay. so um, we did a few things that we've never done for example like from snapchat movie to a short <laughs> film kind of thing it was a f- huge leap, la. leap la, but mm. we learned a lot I think that is the most fun part about this job at the end of the day it's like we get to kind of do and learn at the same time you know like i would never ever get the chance to do that somewhere else uh, to be honest at, at, at our own pace or so you know like that's really important yeah that's fair yeah i think yeah. now to to round it off with the like before we do the last segment is uh just want to ask what, what do i want to ask uh? so i blank out yeah <laughs> okay now we ask you the question no <laughs> Really, the I will, rivers has uh, been rolled. No, hey, it, the rivers have been rolled, pula. Oh yes. The rivers. <laughs> I, wa- I remember what I wanted to ask you. Uh, so, oh, any up and coming uh, YIB projects that uh, our audience can hear about, or anything that you guys yeah. be uh, doing, or anything? This is your own personal one. Uh, uh, like, yeah, uh, your own personal uh, one. Like anything uh, that per- people can look forward to seeing. <laughs> so yeah, on on a personal level, uh, if your collective, anything you are going to be doing, like what what's up with uh, YIB? Wow. <laughs> I don't know. I think no we problem, might man. be doing something with this. It's not confirmed, lah. Like a lot of like unconfirmed plans. Fair, fair. Yeah. The only confirmed one is the next fashion okay. week. Oh, Buzz just dropped his mixtape. Please check it out. Boom. Yeah. Bro, don't the- say I never plug you. Ah, uh. I'm telling everyone now. Like, go check out Buzz. Right, if you love hip hop, you releasing your Kento pop song soon, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Boom. 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 Yeah. Let us know, man. <laughs> uh, Zach's, uh, we, Zach have, or rather, um, I own some, uh, not own some. <laughs> I have some of his recordings, his personal singing 
song Feel Like Boy Pablo Boom Yo If this video reaches uh, <laughs> Certain number of views Certain and number like, of views Like you guys decide I will drop it up uh, At <laughs> Yusimbalaklava.com <laughs> <laughs> Nice to hear Oh my god Feels like um, Like you know Every morning You want to wake up To this kind of voice You know With Zach Pablo Yeah exactly Damn okay. Yeah Okay And Now we move to our Final segment Which is the uh, The Spitfire round Okay Spitfire So basically We will just like Ask you um, questions and then just the whatever like first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. Okay. First thing. First thing. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Uh, favorite day of the week. Monday. Friday. Uh, WhatsApp or Telegram. 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 Uh, WhatsApp. The last song you've listened to. Oh my god. Uh, uh, Mungkin nanti by Peter Pan. Uh, I I don't know but I. I uh, Who uh, are you a fan of? I I I was listening to this Philippine song. <laughs> What? <laughs> this Philippine song. Uh, but. <laughs> I, I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. No, 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 no. We will add the thing sing, when sing. he think about it. We add it for you here. Okay, okay. The Philippine song, okay. Okay, okay the sorry. next one. Favorite junk food? Uh, uh, burgers. Uh, yeah, burgers. <laughs> <laughs> Spencer? Spencer! <laughs> okay, um. Speed round, speed round. If you could disinvent something, what would it be? Oh my god. Condoms. <laughs> 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 Oh shit! Is this a family family friendly? No, no, yeah, you can say. We like to keep it safe in this channel yeah. over here, right, guys? <laughs> what about you, Spencer? If you could uh, disinvent something, what would it be? Dolls. 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 Do- dolls. Oh, dolls. dolls. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting okay. the two different. Okay. Dolls, yeah. <laughs> what was the What was the stupid thing you have done because someone dared you to? Wow, there's so oh many. Oh my god, so many, yeah. <laughs> Pick one, like highlight, highlight. Huh. Hey, I don't think I'd say one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, big plug out my pubes because uh, Spencer did me too. If not, I he say I no balls. Wait, I'm so sorry. Say what? <laughs> Come again? Did I hear what I just heard? Can, can, I can you say <laughs> one more time? Uh, I cannot plug lah. That was a bit more sensitive. Uh, no, what? You know? I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. Not stupidest, but one of the category in that aspect. Uh, we burn our pubes uh, because Spencer said we got no ball. <laughs> uh, I recently got that to do a TikTok with my balls hanging out. <laughs> with your with your what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You got that to do a TikTok yeah, with your what? This was the thing that I was afraid to like. This, like, uh, <laughs> what you saying? Uh, <laughs> your... Okay, uh, uh, a, f- a few number of hard likes. And our number of viewers, we can release the video <laughs> for you guys. I take out TikTok official page. Spencer, no, I need to show us what what this exactly. That's a secret oh. now. Oh <laughs> my god! No, I heard that. We're gonna slow more everything so we can catch the audio. No, because after you said that, you laugh. So okay, we okay, okay. I'll, I'll let him if you want to say it. Uh, no, Spencer, no. What is it? We can continue the next question. <laughs> oh no! Now okay, we are, we're dying. We're dying in suspense. Um, the next one is, let's see, um, if <laughs> if you had the world's attention for 10 seconds, what would you say to the world? If I what? Sorry? If you had the world's attention for 10 seconds, what would you say to the world? Oh, wow, my mind blanks. Huh? You got 10 seconds. Like the, oh. everyone's watching you. Everyone's tuned in. The whole world. The whole world. 10 seconds. Like in like the United Nations speech kind of like setting. N- just crazy. anywhere like your thing is broadcasted to or every screen available for 10 seconds. For 10 seconds. Oh. <laughs> Now you're making me like I got a lot of things to say. <laughs> Which one? Hmm. I was dying. That is one. worth the 10 seconds. That's worth the 10 seconds. Okay, yeah. I'll just try. Um. Like bigger than any like advertising campaign See, now ever. Now you like the more you put it, the more like pressurizing <laughs> this no, whole no thing. Pressure, like, no pressure, no pressure. No, no, I know, but I just like trying to figure out yeah. what is this, this thing. But I got a few things in my head right now. Okay. But I'm just trying to choose. Say like, all. Let's a, say you B, really C, got 10 D. seconds now. Yeah, I cannot say all, right? I only can choose one thing. Exactly. I mean, if you can choosing. squeeze in 10 seconds, boom. Oh, 10 seconds, ah. Huh? You got 10 seconds. Okay, Spencer is a weirdo. <laughs> He actually does weird shit. Okay, but Seven, guys, stop six. fighting. Sorry, stop fighting. Seven, End all wars six, and um, five, uh, save the four, world. Three. Okay, uh, my two, name is Jeff. One. <laughs> 
Yeah. Okay, Spencer, do you have your 10 seconds? You yeah. think already? Eh? No. You ready? No, not, not, not really, but. I'll... We'll count down. Okay, go, go, go! In uh, 10. One. 9. <laughs> 8. eight. Okay. Hi, hi, mom. 10. Hi, dad. Nine. Uh, I'm on TV. Eight. Seven. Uh, I, I love you guys. I love YB. I. <laughs> okay, okay, nice, nice, nice. And then um the last one is um what is an advice you have uh, for young people who want to do their own thing? Just you know, be it like any anything they want to do. Lah. So Oh this one expensive. Freaking good at giving this kind of comments. This kind of advice. Yeah. Spencer, come tell the world how what Yeah, how what was an advice you'd give to young people who just want to do their own thing? Um I would just say to like because when initially when we first started out we we did like I would just say to not stop creating stuff because like you might feel like oh you're stuck in a constant loop of like creating 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 but just focus like on the like satisfaction that you get at the end like when your your project actually come alive you know and then like just focus on that small things at the end and then like slowly like the things will reward you back uh, basically okay, yeah nice Why, wise advice man and yourself Taufik anything oh, yeah. for the young people who want to like do their stuff yeah I guess like what Spencer said like first uh, it's a bit very cliche like I, I myself also keep like wanting to know advice from the you know the sure. the older generations or whoever right to like what what, uh, what kind of words they would like kind of say but it is really true it's just like really do what you love and continue doing it without thinking about like any repercussions or like uh, money involved in it because it's like it's always this Facebook picture you know I, I saw it, which <laughs> relates to this whole thing you know that picture of the guy like with the pig X and the diamond is just like you know that oh, that thin layer of tree or what. yeah you know you know when they like like they're trying to share with you a life Idea, no, no, like it's just like a two panel. So okay. the, the the first panel is the this guy, like, right. you know, still like that, and then the second panel is the guy like walking back, and then the like there's this thin layer of like soil left to the like ah, many diamonds. You're almost there. Ah, almost there. Almost there. Yeah. yeah. Like, ah, okay, okay, okay. Exactly. I think that really like if people want to ask us like how where how do you guys even reach here? You know, like how you know what are the chances, mm. right? That's the only thing that we keep sticking by. Like, there's no s- secret formula. There's no like special. Uh, recipe towards this whole success is really just do it you know just keep doing doing and doing and doing like and don't do it for anyone else like just do it for yourself because if you do it for someone or like you feel like you're like uh, trying to feed off expectations that's when you you get tired about like doing the things that you love so really do yourself for, for yourself and that becomes like a habit and like an everyday thing for yourself and you know um, soon enough you wouldn't even realise that you actually you're actually going through this whole motion uh, just like right. how we were going through this whole YB thing right like when we think about it back in those days when we started like oh we actually really did it lah. but you know when at that time we were just like oh just do it. wake up the next morning oh let's do this let's do that let's yeah. do this again and again and again and again and even if we fail okay try again we try again up to this day we still fail on certain things that we decide on and the certain things that we do but importantly really never give up like really never give up you hear you hear it here first guys boom never give up man and just a bonus the bonus last 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 one let's go let's go so is you guys had uh some of your items being donned by a lot of uh famous people right so yuna from itzy kamin from shiny (laughs) j-hope from bts we have uh, Grey from AOMG AOMG And um, uh, Offset from Migos Offset Yeah so uh, tell, tell us your, your feelings and uh, about, about that yeah. you know, it, It's an achievement man So <sighs> run, run us through your Exactly you know the, the, when we, Earlier when we said like The word used in Balaclava Like until now Like imagine they are wearing like Using <laughs> Balaclava Yeah like I I don't know for me my 16 year old self would never believe like all these kind of things actually happen, uh. but but how do you feel? <laughs> but oh, I mean, when when like the first celebrity wear our clothes, we who, were was all, who was it? Who was it? 
Like that your uh, Dara from oh, yeah. 21. 21 Yeah Boom like, mm. We were f- super 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 shocked Cause we love like 21 And like Shout out to Spam And also <laughs> We were pretty surprised like Cause we just started out Like Going like Worldwide Basically okay. So That was like the The first step And then Like, But how do you guys get to know about like the news? No, the the funny thing is we never yeah. really find out ourselves. It's, it's mostly like, from like, like people tagging. It was like, like, hey, yeah. Sanara is like, yeah. Well, yeah, like the screenshot, and then suddenly like, oh, some like for example like Spencer will post it in a group like, oh, I don't know, my friend sent me, you know, like it's always like that. And even like the AOMG one, like mm. Gray, we didn't even know that he went until like spe- uh, happened that Zach was like looking through TikTok, and he was like looking. Ah, yeah. hey, he show like, me the money, the ten, the yeah, yeah, cipher. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. he was like, pause. Hey, I think he wearing our stuff, uh, sir. <laughs> <laughs> then like he wait. He say, yeah, it's our stuff. Uh, it's our stuff. That's <laughs> 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 oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> So we always chance they don't yeah. really like unless they have like a huge fan base right then they always like oh what this guy wear and okay. then like they will like segregate you know those kind of fan page right right so yeah we will always find out from that kind of like a uh, picture basically nice but it's crazy sir yeah. like crazy sir yeah. like like every time I me mean, like say you say first one was Sandara right? but like you know subsequent like other celebrities that does the shock I think you know, still feels like fresh like all the time like for me the shock is part because for me uh, like, yeah. for me is offset like when offset very like like what the fuck like I'll never imagine like like yeah, offset no like I really love Migos you know boom shout out to Migos <laughs> shout out man I just wanna nice. take your mama, mama. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah that's that, I think that was the like for me that was like my pick because like really like I called my brother I called ha- my friend Hanif okay okay guys guys look, look at the YB page now look look, look. you know like mm-hmm. I try not to like create the hype in the WhatsApp group I just right. like they were like oh my god oh my god like fuck yes uh, you know like that was like you know I felt finally like I was really proud of like the collection and the thing because uh, you know every time you always have this uncertainty when you drop the collection stuff like that so when I feel like I don't, it's not Validation, but it's just like Ooh, okay, yeah. finally it reached somewhere. That is like the benchmark where I will try to beat that benchmark the next day. Right, or, you get what I mean, right? So, but the whole good. like excitement and elation, would you say like the whole team was also like just like boom? Yeah, I think for the whole team vibe was I think when that's the funny thing we're not we're not really beat okay now. <laughs> When J Hope wear the star, yeah, I don't know why we are excited. <laughs> hey, I mean, I mean, it's BTS, yeah. so it's BTS. Yeah. So. And somehow it was like, okay, so it was uh, who uh, was it? Uh, Dalvin's girlfriend, yeah. right? Or was it like Dal? I think uh, either one of them. Mm. Uh, screenshot and they were like they are like the biggest BTS fans. army yeah. yeah like army but they like don't know army like because they like <laughs> army be, be, okay no, I don't say this they are like uh, <laughs> this be careful lah <laughs> you careful lah <laughs> later boom okay uh they were like an army and then I don't know how they like zoom in like you know this it's like yeah then they like screenshot and it's like is this your brand one like then I said oh yeah who is this? who is wearing it oh then I've managed to, I only see the hand when <laughs> first glance. zoom out then zoom out is like J-Hope then it's like it's like a teaser when I screenshot and then send it to the guys lah then they were like oh my god you are Yeah. And Zach was like Okay we need to learn The fan chant now Okay I sent the <laughs> YouTube link Then he sent the YouTube link Okay guys You guys got 24 hours to learn I already memorized He record himself saying Then he put there Like no one entertain him About that thing <laughs> So nice. Yeah that was like When the whole group was like Very excited about Things like this yeah, la, Basically nice. uh, Other than that I think um, Biggest one was uh, Shiny I think Yeah, I think recently Key also just wore yeah, yeah, Key. Oh yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, Key, and he won the award, right? Like with the oh, and then he took picture of the glove that was like, ooh, cool stuff. And Sandra, and uh, when, oh, backstory when we uh when we saw Sandra wearing it, we actually met Sandra at Paris, and we weren't allowed to go near her at first. Then we told the manager like, oh, you know, she wore stuff, and they said, okay, okay, we give me 10 minutes. Then she got Sandra to come over and then Sandra talked to us and we shake her hand. Oh. Then we were like low-key freaking out lah. Like, oh my god. Like, oh, we'll never imagine lah this kind of thing happening. Sick. You know, like, oh. really sad. Uh, like, I don't know. It's still surreal lah that all this happening, you know. Sitting at stick out, you know, here talking yo, to you guys. Shout, shout outs, man. Yo. Nice, yo. Very, Crazy, yeah. Very, very happy for, for you guys, man. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. you know? Thank you for sharing, like, you know, with, with us all, all this, you know. 
And if I think if you guys have any um, questions that you all want to ask um, YIB, feel free to you know uh, drop us drop any questions in the DMs. You know, <laughs> uh, 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 you no, fun. drop in the comment section right. below. Okay. And yeah, yeah boom. Gonna, check here. out the merch on the right side. You know? oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just released uh, my Patreon. If you wanna. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> support me on my but Twitch. I really, really want to say something like to our bandits or like to the fans or like to the, you know whoever been supporting us. Like really, thank you for everything. Your all your support has like led us this far. And without them, you know, we're just like you know, I don't know. I think we to be normal lah, basically. But we wouldn't reach these heights lah because of you guys also. So thank you to all the Singaporeans and all the people international outside, fans. International yeah. fans. Especially like you know, Singapore Pride first. Uh. Shouts, man. Majula Singapore, Majula. man. Majula. But onward, Gunning Singh. <laughs> <laughs> onward. Man, and then they, do we want oh, yeah. Shout out to Mr. Lim Chung Bing. Oh my gosh. He's still there, I think. I think so. I think so, I think so. Shout out to Mr. Tang Kim Bing. <laughs> Jeffrey Sui, thank you for getting me into design. Uh, They're like, who the? <laughs> You know, the teachers at uh, Gunning Singh. <laughs> 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 we go to school. school the, the, uh, the graduation book every year we have a night. We'll just find uh, a picture and put Makan sedap. <laughs> Thank you for supplying us. What? Uh? Work with me. <laughs> Work with me. Oodles noodles. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Um, <laughs> Auntie Jun. <laughs> Nata di coco with Milo. Extra tuna sense. Milo. <laughs> 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 huh? Yeah, Milo, and then she put nata di coco. It's so like another marketing kind of like. Oh, uh, oh ah, this crush! This crush! No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that, sir. Uh, that was uh, okay because okay, you have to understand, right? Our school banned sweet drinks, oh, so we only had like. Yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, soybean was good, water chestnut yeah. was good, but Milo and nata <laughs> that is like asking for diabetes, sir. Uh. Just asking for tough club, sir, <gasps> dude. Like this literally, sir, uh, like. Oh my god, that's the best you can get. Okay, okay. The rest is but all you like. You have to make do lah. Have to make yeah, do. Yeah, have to do make fair, do fair. It's like you know, Bruce Lee said, "Be water, right?" <laughs> but don't drink be water, like, bro. Be water, but also be Milo with nata di coco. <laughs> I love it, sir. <laughs> hey, wait, you know, the admin office, ah, you got this, ah, you better. <laughs> Every time I wanna collect key, ah, you always call me collect. Ah, huh, my friend Ethan here, so ah, he collect key, ah, so many times can I score that? No, then what? The whole class have to wait outside, is it? Huh? This is becoming very personal. <laughs> gunning Singh writing <laughs> sessions. We we can take Gunning Singh in this, <laughs> in this <laughs> podcast. Onward. <laughs> Okay, hot thing. With uh, <laughs> like uh, shout out to Frank Aruzu, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> the guy who said with many heart, eh? oh, as many heart, as many heart, yeah, yeah to the school. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, one last thing, one final, final, hey, final thing. Mister Topeki, <laughs> Miss Ali Lim. Oh my God! What do you mean? You know. <laughs> Coach King Wee, uh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's doing our time, correct, right? Correct, correct, yeah. correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coach King Wee and... Oh, fun Lee. fact, they were from the same CCA. Yes. Um, yeah, same different batches, but boom. When I was in SEC 1, she's already in SEC 4. Yeah. So that's how, like, far we are. Like, I know I look older, but... No, I... Kind d- of <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm saying that, like, I'm, I'm, I look older, right. that's why. Right. No, but that, no, but that you brought... I know we're going to end, really. Yeah, I know we're gonna end really, but I still have to bring this up. Okay, so the first time I saw mm. y'all, right, y'all came over to Luke Gums, but this was actually mm. the second time that he already seen you guys. So I didn't see the you guys the first time, time y'all came. Your brother. Oh uh, yeah. no, yeah. I think I came with Zach. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, you came with Vincent, and then you came to us, and then say, "Oh, FJ was you know FJ, you know." FG. No, I was very shy because y'all like y'all like wow, really cool. No, huh? yeah. yeah. No, but then. then after that, I don't know how we just started talking. Then we started talking about secondary school. Then we realized they were from Gunning Singh, which was where I was from as well. Then the worst thing is y'all were also from the canoeing team. Just canoeing. Sp- <laughs> <Shush. laughs> correct. And then that's a <laughs> correct. Oh, so, she kept yeah, yeah. So yeah, lah. That's why. That's yeah. how we. That's got how, yeah. Yeah, small it's really world. very small yeah. la, And then it was just nice to be able to connect with. Hey, you but guys. important. Mm. I heard you like the very fierce one. Yes, I was the one nobody wanted to be friends with, lor. The vice captain uh, yeah. Yuanzhen. Hello, Yuanzhen has a kid already. Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. What? Why, why are we talking about these people online? So yeah, but but. <laughs> <laughs> are, are we are we really online? No lah, we're not no, live no, lah. Okay, but okay, like yeah okay. yeah But then yeah So okay. yeah uh, Between the two people who have preferred to hang out with her lah, nobody would like me. Okay. Wait, you say you know like the Harish all uh, like. Uh, yeah, Sharil, 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 is it Sharil? Sharil yeah, Your batch, young, right? Younger than me. Holy shit. When you came in, I already graduated. So we, oh, nev- yeah. we never met. Yeah. 
Maybe I think I maybe oh, would yeah, have met Zach. Yeah, Zach. Mr. Yeah. Giam era is it? <laughs> Mr. Giam, yeah, Mr. Giam. Shout out, Mr. Uh, Giam. Shout out, Mrs. Carolyn Tan. Okay, okay. Wait, okay, wait. Before we go <laughs> off tangent, one last final thing we wanted okay. to talk about that. Let's go. So this was not. Uh, I mean, there's a reason why you know we we have them on as well, and something yeah. that's gonna be happening really exciting. Oh, what, hmm. what was this phrasing about? Something that's really gonna something be very happening something happening soon. Um, uh, mm. likely and yeah, October. soon between the uh, both of you the, and Barasa and the, 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 the <laughs> we don't go into like the yeah. details. Yeah. Yeah. So so, so okay, uh, we'll just leave it at that. Oh. Oh, okay, lah. Yeah. Then see y'all. See y'all. <laughs> hey, see y'all. Lah. <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> mm. Okay, so yeah, I uh, hope you guys will look forward to yeah. that. Um, to this chaotic energy over here. Thank, uh, thank you for having us. Hey, no problem at all. Thank you, Isaac. Thank you, FJ. No and we are very humble. Uh, oh, thank you, thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, the, okay. Thank you to the stakeout team as well. Mm. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next episode. Thank you. Ciao. Are, are we Victoria doing like, and like, thing as well? Is it like a transition? Like you're like. Whoosh. No, I think we're just casual, you know, like the news. Then people uh, like pretend to talk, talk, talk. Uh, like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>